Hello and welcome back to Banner Page and our Iron Man challenge. Now, as you can see here, we've just gained the rents from Kelrodan Castle because, well, yeah, we actually did gain the ownership over the castle. I got to say, very, very big thank you to the liege himself, Mr. Yarrow Gleck. He actually did give it to us. And uh, yeah, we're actually also gaining a pretty sizable amount from our village, which I gotta say is actually kind of surprising too. Anyway, this is where we currently are. As you can see, Kelradan Castle was actually just under siege. We're also gaining a little bit of cash from the salt mine, and uh, I think we I think we're doing pretty nicely in terms of cash right now. Obviously, not so much before the Kelradan rents actually came in, but you know we were doing all right anyway before that. So. This is basically what I've been doing. I've just, after I gained the ownership over the castle, I've just basically been standing here, not really doing much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna go into the Lord's Hall real quick because I would love to be able to speak to our Chamberlain because he is the fellow that obviously deals with all of our finances and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is think what I might like to do is change the tax rate and uh, just put it on very low. We're just going to put that on very low because I think, no, I'm not entirely sure if it happens in Banner Page, but in a number of other mods that allow you to change the tax rate, if you place a tax rate on very low or even low, then it has a chance, I'm not entirely sure if it's 100% or not, but it gives you a little bit of relation every single week because you're not taxing the peasants in a massive way. So... I don't really need the money right now. I don't really need the money in general because we actually have 14,000 dinars right there and we've got a good amount of land and acres and all that stuff all over the place. So I'm just going to be taking, I think I'll take 5,000 out and we'll just leave a little bit in there. And you can also do fief improvements as well. Now the main reason, mm, actually, you know what? I'm going to take another thousand. The main reason why I actually want to do this is because I would like to manage the castle and build a blacksmith's forge. This is going to take 33 days, however, which is not exactly great. So what I'm hoping on doing is gaining someone or having someone level up that will potentially enable us to have some kind of engineering skill. So, for example, Borcher might actually be someone that could become a pretty decent engineer because he has 12 intelligence as a base and he's already got, you know, pathfinding, spotting and so on and so forth. But I think we're going to make... If Deshavi sticks around, I think we'll try and make Deshavi into our engineer. It's unlikely that she's going to stick around at this point, but maybe we can hope. Anyway, other news. Other news that has been going on. Okay, so now, you know what the news is? Aha, yes, the Swadians declared war against the Vagiers. I think it's mainly because of Kelradan Castle as well, because it is, of course, on their borders, and they very much want to take it in a very, very easy way. I mean, I've only got 21 units there. We've got some pretty high tier units in the garrison, but that doesn't really make any difference to the AI. Usually the AI does not take into account those kinds of things. Usually what they're going to do is they're going to be like, oh, there's only, you know, two people there. I'm going to take it. But if there's 200, doesn't really matter whether they're peasants or not, then they'll be a little bit more careful about what they decide to do but there's oh there's Jarl Olaf ah oh, there's Jarl Olaf a, a series of unfortunate events he's going to obviously have happened to us maybe oh he's actually running away King Ragnar hello do you want to fight I don't think he does <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what they're doing to be honest there's some weird stuff going on here wait a minute did they just declare war against us okay so here's the thing I'm actually really surprised about the aggression from the Saranids here, because the Saranids actually declared a non-aggression pact with the Vagiers, and now the Vagiers are literally cornered on every single side, with the exception of obviously the Kurgits. I don't think the Kurgits are at war against us at the moment, but they were at war against us in the very beginning, and uh, I gotta say, I am a bit worried. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about my little castle here. Not entirely sure what I'm going to have to do. Going to level up uh, Yamira's strength and so on and so forth. Generally, what I like to do is get all companions to a relatively high level in regards to their strength and power strike, iron flesh, etc. And maybe their agility as well. Really depends on what kind of character they actually are. 
and then start leveling their other party-based skills because if they can't wear good armor, they're going to get killed really, really quickly. And being able to wear that good armor and be able to do damage is something that is very important to me especially. So what I'm going to do is after this becomes daytime, there we go, all right, what we're going to do is I might try to take Nadar Castle. Or, uh, I mean, here's the thing. If we can take Nadar Castle, then this is a, a really nice free route back into Vegia territory, and it is very separate from the remaining Nord areas. So I'm thinking we're going to see what's going on with that. Oh, there's a Catalan company. I'm going to attack this Catalan company for a very good reason. They have prisoners, and I need more prisoners for my garrison, if at all possible. Okay, so let's not run into a huge amount of <laughs> huge amount of Nord vassals. I can imagine that that would have happened. But this is going to be a pretty easy victory for us, or at least I hope it is going to be. These uh, Catalan units are actually quite strong. We do have a couple of them in my own army. Oh yeah, and by the way, I found these Hussars in Dirim's Tavern just before I uh, started the episode. So that's that's pretty cool. I, I would like to take this... Never mind. I was going to say, I'd like to take this guy prisoner. I still have my wonderful, wonderful throne weapons that are capable of knocking people unconscious. I very much love using these. Look at, look at this. I'm actually pretty good with them as well, which is kind of surprising. I, I would not have expected myself to be that good with any thrown weapon whatsoever, but it feels to me like the thrown weapon it itself is pretty good. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just got a higher base accuracy or something like that, but I really like this thrown weapon. I think it's a fantastic addition because, let's face it, what are you looking for in terms of variety? Uh, for thrown weapons, because what do you have? You've got piercing damage, you've got cutting damage. Where's the blunt damage? You don't have any blunt damage. So this solves that problem once and for all, which is just crazy good. So anyway, let's just take all of these prisoners. Might need to spec a little bit more into prisoner management, perhaps. Might be an idea. But anyway, let's continue just to recruit all of these, because I'm going to just place these in the garrison straight away. Uh, what do we have here? Anything that good? Yeah, some of these things are okay, but we're just going to let our people just, you know, upgrade however they want. And we'll just take the rest for selling. There we go. All right. So let's just head back to Karadan Castle so that I can place those things back in there. Oh, look at this. It actually seems as though many of the Nord Lords, <laughs> Nord Lords, yes, many of the Nord Lords are being uh, taken prisoner right now and indeed defeated. Oh, hello, Count Grainwad. What are you doing here? Seems like he's not actually uh, not actually doing anything, so to speak, just yet. But no doubt he is planning on it. So let's just put these guys in here. I don't really want to take too many units around with me at the moment. Because even though it's a really good idea to do that so that I can potentially take on all kinds of enemies, I would like to try and uh, secure, shall we say, the garrison at Kalradan Castle. Not entirely sure what he's doing. No, no, he's just going to run off. He is at war against us. Bear that in mind. As you can see, he is actually aggressive towards us. So, got to be a bit careful of that. All right. So, my my previous plan was to go to Nadar Castle. So, let's try and see what's going on there. 165? What are you doing? <laughs> That's actually a lot. That is a lot of people right there. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my uh, Greek fire grenades, and we will go in there, and we'll see what we can do. I am a little bit worried about this. Let's just say that. I am a bit worried about it because it is... Oh, it only takes... Aha! Okay, so some castles do not have the siege equipment, and some do have the ladders. Okay, that's good to know. But yeah, it's still going to take nine hours. Got to be careful. Uh, yes, I will uh, appoint a prominent nobleman. Thank you very much. And then we'll see if someone appears. If someone appears out of nowhere, I will be attempting to pause the game straight up. No, apparently they didn't. Okay, this is pretty good. Now, are they going to sally out? Yes, they are. Uh, I do have two grenades still. How many? They have 47 against us. That shouldn't be too bad, actually. We might be able to do something here, because most of my units are pretty decent. And I should be able to do quite a bit of damage with the grenade. Uh, maybe? I mean, what's actually going on with Matteld? 
She doesn't have grenades. Does she? Does she have grenades? I, I, I didn't think that she had grenades. Uh, now I'm getting murdered. There we go. Take that guy out. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, but anyway, I had no idea that Matt Elk had grenades. I don't I don't think she does. I gave them to Clethy, but maybe uh, maybe she has them for some reason. I, I don't exactly know what's going on with that, but oh well, never mind. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll do our very best. Let's just tell our people to charge in. How many people are we even eliminating here? Because if it's a lot, then we might even have a shot at being able to capture the... Uh, the, the, the keep, you know, so uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good idea, pretty nice idea. Take him down. Yes, there we go. And uh, I think, oh, I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. I actually really like my uh, my blunt weapon at the moment. I gotta say, I'm, I'm quite quite satisfied with how much damage it does. And of, of course, it does take people prisoner, which is a massive bonus. But obviously, uh, in these kinds of situations, it doesn't really make any sense. Ah, there we go. We've advanced to level 20, and that is indeed a victory for us. 26 renown. Really nice. Look at that. 26 renown. Okay, so there's only 47 that came out to fight us in that situation, which I think is pretty fine. Don't have a problem with that. And, uh, aha, this is actually... Oh, this is a cool layout. I really like this layout, actually. I didn't even take note of that when we were having the sally out, but this is actually really, really fun. So let's see what we can do about it. Bear in mind, I do have this wonderful, wonderful shield, and it is going to make things very difficult for the opponent to be able to take me down. <laughs> Famous last words? Uh, yes, let's, let's not. Let's not. Let's not speak of it. Let us not speak of it. Okay, so I'm going to have to take out these archers. Or maybe I don't, because... Uh, well, yeah, okay. So the Nafatun riders might be a little bit... A little bit powerful, uh, you know, just just a tad, you know, just a little bit. Because uh, <laughs> I said in the previous episode, you know, I went on that huge rant, and I apologize for that. Didn't it didn't mean for it to turn into a rant or anything like that, but I went into a bit of a rant about how I feel like the grenades are not that powerful. And then I said, well, they are quite powerful in sieges and not so much in field battles. So I'm not entirely sure if the mod creator can do anything about that because being able to edit items specifically for various situations, don't think that's really going to happen. And personally, I really feel like it's a lot of fun to have these grenades because you can actually turn a situation completely on its head. And I personally love the ability to do that. And bear in mind that now I don't have any grenades, I'm basically out of out of power, basically. And what I'm going to need to do now is actually fight and uh, take these guys on. And that's a, that's a fun thing, because we're actually inside, but we're fighting, and we're fighting, and we're fighting, and we might very well end up losing in this case, because, let's face it, we're not in a very powerful situation here. I don't have a huge amount of powerful units. My... Uh, my people are not exactly that strong. And you can see here they're actually being murdered. Oh no! I should run! Oh dear! I think I should run away. Oh, yeah, that, that was... Yeah, so as you can see, didn't really work out too well. Didn't really work out too well. We're going to have to retreat. If you could just leave me alone, Archer, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're just going to retreat real quick. We're still going to have a positive kill-death ratio right there, which is exactly what you need to be able to escape these kinds of situations without too many penalties. And uh, we're just going to wait here for some time, and we'll see how many units they actually have. Uh, are you literally attacking me right now? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, why wouldn't they? <laughs> we only have 15 troops. We only have 15 troops? What? Okay. Yeah, so this is exactly the reason why I feel like the grenades are a really good addition because even, as you could see, even with absolute powerful explosions going on, eliminating basically, I'm going to say half the garrison, even eliminating half the garrison, I'm still ending up losing that battle, which i got to say is kind of crazy. So, you know, that's definitely something to, to bear in mind because I would say that in general, as I've said before, against a smallish garrison, the one that we had at Kelradan Castle before, yeah, I would say that it's probably 
pretty pretty powerful to have those grenades because you're you know you're dealing with a much greatly reduced uh, a greatly reduced garrison and it's so easy for enemies to uh, be taken out by the grenades but as it stands right now how am I supposed to do this I'm actually going to be running away here for a second because I know that you can put grenades into your inventory and then you can go into your baggage and then you can bring them out and so on and so forth but because I've used these grenades already I'm just gonna get out my other thrown weapons and try and use those to good effect because we're gonna need him we're gonna need him yes so let's see if I can maybe do something here oh and then I kill my own unit isn't that great yes classic absolute classic Okay, kill him. Kill these guys. There we go. Kill that guy as well. It, yeah, no, 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 no. I have a, I have a wonderful shield. I would appreciate it if you would not murder me. Okay, come on, come on, Nafa to an archer, and whoever else. Yes, there we go. Knock him down. Fantastic. Knocked him down with my blunt weapon. I actually wonder whether I will be able to even achieve victory here. We might not be able to. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Uh, fire arrows, fire arrows are doing something. There we go, we took him down. And we now have this guy. I was thinking of retreating, maybe. Not entirely sure whether it's a good idea, though. Okay, so I have four more of my thrown weapons. This guy is actually running away. We took him down. And we still have five on the battlefield. There are still some more reinforcements coming in from the opponent. And you know what we're going to have to do after this? We're going to have to run away. <laughs> yes. We're going to have to run away very, very quickly, indeed. Take him down. Nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh, nice damage, Hussar. Nice damage. And I think I'm out of... Uh, yeah, I'm out of thrown weapons. And it is just this guy remaining. And hopefully I'll be able to eliminate him. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, phew. That was actually kind of close. So we had what? 15? Yeah, we had 15 units against 46. And we ended up achieving a victory even without a huge amount of explosions. So it really, in my opinion, just depends on situations as well. Because obviously I stressed in the previous episode that it was all about personal player preference and so on and so forth. And yeah, while that is true, it is also about situations and what kind you're up against. Because obviously I almost failed super hard in that, uh, in that siege. Kind of did fail quite a bit because we ended up losing quite a few units. But for the most part, we managed to escape. And uh, as a result, we also have, oh, yeah, now these, these are nice. Large bag of throwing axes. I like these quite a bit. Probably not as much as my current weapons. I really, really like these thrown weapons. They, they feel good to use. They feel good when you throw them. It's really, really nice. But anyway, let's uh, leave. Nice, 553 dinars. I'm just going to leave this in general. I'm just going to go to Kelrodan Castle real quick and uh, see if we can maybe rest up. I've got to be a bit careful here as well because I don't want to get attacked by bandits. There's actually quite a few bandits in the area, so it's definitely something to be aware of. There we go. Okay, so now the reason why I put all these guys in here is because the Nord Huskals were actually draining my morale quite a bit because, of course, we are at war against the Nords and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm not going to take the Swadians either. We're just going to take a couple of caravan guards out of here, and we'll take the the Vagiers as well. But I'm not a big fan of the Vagier units. Not entirely sure why I joined the Vagiers, to be honest. But I guess it's just because they have all of the really nice areas to fight in. So you know they have the Sea Raiders really close by, and you know all that stuff. Anyway, let's just wait here for some time. See if anyone wants to fight. Aha. Count Grainward is back, and he is now besieging us. Okay, so some Greek fire grenades I think are going to be useful for us. We only have 16 in the garrison. Bear in mind, he has now a friend that is joining him, and I'm actually going to do something here. I wonder whether I can speak to our constable real fast. Maybe I can get a patrol or something like that. We might be able to enlist a patrol, enlist a big one, uh, Kelrodan Castle. Why would I want to send it to anywhere else? I'm not entirely sure, but okay. Kelrodan Castle. Ah, I think why you'd want to send it somewhere else is because what you can do is you could probably send it to Ravidin or something like that, and then it will fight Sea Raiders and Sea Raiders and Sea Raiders, probably take a huge amount of them prisoner, and then you can tell them to go into your castle, and then that would basically be like a, a prisoner taking machine sort of thing. So it would be quite cool, but Kelrodan Castle is where the big patrol is going to go, and. 
I think that's it. Is that going to work? Yes, it is. Okay, that's actually working very nicely. Let me speak to them. And I need you to reinforce a garrison at Kelradan Castle. Thank you very much. Please don't get attacked. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So now we have 60 in the garrison there, which is much, much better. And what we're also going to do by speaking to our constable is we're going to offer, well, not offer, but we're going to basically ask him to go and uh, uh, recruit some new soldiers. I should probably go and get... I know that someone actually did mention that Kurgit elite units are really good because they're basically gren grenadiers or something like that. They're like grenadier horsemen or something. I'm not entirely sure because uh, I haven't I haven't seen those. But we could take a look at the uh, the Kurgit troop trees. That might be quite fun. But otherwise, I'm just going to go for Vagiers. Let's get let's get twenty. Ah, uh, actually, I just I just cancelled that. <laughs> let's get twenty. And let's get another 20. So let's just send out two recruiters, because as you can see, you can only send out two when you have a castle. And let's just get 10, just in case the other one completely fails. And you can sell some prisoners to this guy as well, but as you can see, he only sells for a base price of 50, which is actually fantastic if you're fighting looters and various other you know, low-cost uh, bandits. But as it is right now, I don't really want to do that. Also, we should probably train some recruits. We should train them into probably ranged units. So we're going to do that. And I think we are... What, what's, the, what's the armory? Oh, I guess you can just put some stuff in there. I guess I will put some of my javelins and things like that in there just to save some space. I guess. <laughs> I guess that seems like a good idea to me. And there we go. All right, so let's see what happens. Because Count Grainward technically could... I uh, could quite easily take this, I would assume. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Are they coming? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as you can see right here, our recruiter that was commissioned to recruit 20 recruits has been defeated. So, yeah, that's the uh, that's the big problem here. I'm not entirely sure if we will be able to survive this. Let's level up Mattel, get us some more power strike for the upcoming fight. She's going to need it. And I'm actually thinking of replacing my current weapon with something else. Deshavi actually did level up as well. I'm thinking we'll level up her strength and get her another point in power draw so that she can actually be a little bit more powerful from range. And now here's the thing. Who has a good weapon? I think Bunduk has a good weapon. Eh, not the best, gotta say. Uh, does Clethy have a good weapon? Let's have a look. Mm, it's okay, but it is uh, mm, not the best, not the best. Uh, I kind of want a piercing weapon, so I probably should have gone out and bought a Morning Star uh, for these kinds of situations, because a Morning Star in a siege is basically probably one of the best things you can get, maybe apart from a uh, Great Bardiche or something like that. I, I absolutely love the Bardiche, if you don't know. The Bardiche is basically my favorite weapon in native based mods. I really like it a lot. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna continue leveling up my strength and I think I probably want to get some more power strike, don't I? It will probably make sense in this upcoming siege to get some more power strike. Let's go for some more thrown weapon proficiency as well. I should really get a two-handed weapon. Yeah, two-handed weapon would have been really, really good here because I'm gonna be able to attack from a pretty fair distance away. Oh, no, never mind. They're actually running away. Okay, fantastic. That gives me all the opportunity in the world if they actually end up leaving everything here. And we are now... Oh, look at that. We're now at peace with the Saranids. Weird. The Saranids, the Saranids are super weird. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. But otherwise, hello. Who's that? Count Barans. Shall we fight him? Can we fight him even? I've got 11 caravan guards. Personally, I don't think I will be able to defeat him with that. Oh, hello. There's a massive amount of Vagiers right here. Fantastic. Let's actually speak to Prince Yaroglek. Maybe there's something I can actually do for him. And let's see. Do you have any tasks? Mm, will you train some troops for me? What do you need? Five? <laughs> sure. Okay. Why not? Why not? You gave me 100 dinars. 100 dinars to train Vagier knights. I've got one. Uh yeah, classic, isn't it? It's an absolute classic task. It's one of those tasks that you're just like, why? Why are you asking me to do this? And then 
he gives you a hundred dinars to go off and train some knights, even though it costs much more to be able to uh, level those guys up in time as well as cost. Anyway, let's go to the salt mine, deposit my prisoners there while I have the opportunity. And there we go. A recruiter has actually been successful, so I, sh I should probably just do that in future where we just try and recruit 10 units at a time or something like that. And it looks like Dirim is actually under siege now, which is kind of interesting. Oh, hello. Another Catalan company. Come back here, Catalan company. You have something I want. Actually, quite a few things I want. They have five manhunters and two slave crushers. Got to say, I think that they're pretty good units. I mean, the manhunters, not so much. But uh, they do level up into some pretty good ones. So I'm hopeful that I will be able to catch them. Maybe. Are they running as fast as I am? Ah, oh, they're running just a little bit faster. If only they could just slow down a little bit. I've got to be careful about running into enemies here as well. Come on, make it. Ah, yeah, it's it's never going to happen, is it? Oh, we might have... Yeah, there we go. Phew, that was so close. Okay, yeah, these guys literally ran all the way through Swadian territory, passing by two vassals. Thankfully, they didn't seem to really care about me that much, so I kind of just snuck on by pretty much. And uh, yeah, then I was able to uh, corner them in the little forested area next to Nemesia and Harangoth Castle and so on. Oh dear. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit, Iron Man, Bear Tilt. Very, very good indeed. It seems like Mattel does actually have the, have the grenades equipped. Gotta say I'm a bit weirded out by that because I did give it to Clethy. But I guess if Mattel has more power throw skill... Who am I to say? I don't really mind whoever has it as long as someone is doing a good job with it. That's all that matters to me. So let's just see if I can maybe take a couple of these guys prisoner. That's also what I want to do. It's also the reason why I'm not actually using my grenades at the moment because I want to try and take a couple of these guys prisoner and uh, try and put them in the salt mine, even though the salt mine is actually really far away from me now. Take them down. Take them down. There's only three of them remaining. There's actually a whole bunch over here. What, what, what are they doing? What are they doing? They're just standing there? I hope they're not kind of... I hope they're not some artillery or something like that. Doesn't look like it. Seems like they've just gotten stuck or something. Or... No, they're just regular units. Okay, that's kind of strange. This is a really cool forested area, by the way. I'm very much liking fighting in this area because, let's face it, this area up against... A faction like the Swadians? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna have a fun time because they're never gonna be able to get through here with all of their Swadian man at arms and knights and so on and so forth. So if you have a you know an enemy that like uh, let's say uh, I don't know the Butter Lord himself, King Harlaus, comes along and is just like, hey, I want to fight, then you you just go, oh yeah, just join me in the forest, you know, because then you're gonna have a great time. And uh, he's not going to have such a good time. So it's going to be quite fun. But otherwise, there you go. My morale is taking a bit of a penalty here because I've taken so long to get these guys in a fight. Which I've got to say is not exactly great. And I guess what I could do now is I could go down into Rodok territory. And I think I'm probably going to do that. What, what do these guys have? They just have some Serenids and Caravan Guards. I'm, I'm on the lookout for rescuing prisoners at this point. Because being able to rescue prisoners from some bandits is actually quite lucrative in the way that you can then upgrade your garrison defenses and so on and so forth. And look at this. Kudan, we've got a good amount of cash right there. Riverchegg, we've got a good amount of cash. And I think I probably need to buy some more land elsewhere. So I might try to do that. And uh, bear in mind that my wages are giving me about 500 profit every single time. So I guess that's all right. Uh, oh yeah, well, those guys are not recruitable at the moment, unfortunately. Okay, so this guy can teach me something. He can actually teach me... Oh, ways with a shield. A shield can serve you in many ways. You can even bash with it as a secondary weapon. Yeah, I absolutely love the shield bash, and I know that a couple of people say it's way too powerful, and uh, I personally don't think so, because I really don't want it to change at all, because I love it. <laughs> I love it. I know it's it's pretty powerful, but... I really like it a lot because it just gives you a lot more options in regards to, to combat. But, you know, it's up to the mod creator. If they want to change it, then that's up to them. But anyway, uh, I'm going to 
Spend... Should I spend 1,400? Uh, ancient dice game? Higher number wins. Oh no, this is bad for me. Okay, so let's do... Let's do 30. Roll the dice. Tavern Keeper rolls seven. Great. What? What? Okay. Not entirely sure how that worked. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, so the Tavern Keeper rolls a seven, but I think that was my roll. That was probably my roll. Okay, well, whatever the case, I can now finally sell all of my stuff. Because this is actually going to get us a decent amount of cash. I'm not going to sell the throne axes because I actually like those quite a bit. And speaking of being in a Rodok town, usually they have a good amount of Bardishas. And I'm thinking that I might just get a really nice two-handed weapon for a siege defense. Because I don't really need a Morningstar, so to speak. Even though Morningstar is really, really good. Oh, look at that. A heavy mace with a guard. Hmm. I wonder whether I can upgrade this, because that might do more damage. Uh, I'm wondering if there's actually a better blunt weapon as well. If there's a better blunt weapon that I can get somewhere, then I think that would be fantastic. But as it stands right now, that seems to be pretty good, but it's 750. I don't know whether I really want to spend that at the moment. Oh well. Never mind. I guess what we'll do is we'll just leave it for the moment, and I'm, I'll just go to somewhere else, because maybe I will be able to get a heavy bardiche somewhere else. Because uh, I think that that is probably my best bet for any kind of siege defense weapon. Because while it still does cutting damage, it does have a pretty big bonus against shields. And I absolutely love that because being able to destroy shields, for example, of Nords and things like that is really, really good. And that guy wanted to attack me super badly, but thankfully I got in here just in time. Okay. Uh, there's actually a dueling sword here as well. That's, that's for those of us that really do like the thrust. And there's a chipped great axe. This is basically the kind of thing I'm looking for in terms of a bardiche. But it's not exactly that. So... Seems like I will be out of luck, which is unfortunate. Maybe I can go to the tavern. Maybe there'll be a couple of uh, really interesting units in here as well, because you know, we need those, you know. Ah, these guys are really, really good. Let's, uh, oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, take it. Why not? And these guys, let's take these guys too. Roland, hello. What do you have for sale? Ooh, he's got a bunch of stuff. Okay, yeah, he's got a bunch of really, really cool things right here. Wow, this, wow. This sword is insane. Look at the speed rating on that thing. 111. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, sword. That is kind of crazy. Yeah, these are also really, really good for siege defense, but they don't have crush. Uh, I mean, well, bonus against shields, because obviously they're not going to have crush most of the time. But uh, yeah, if they had bonus against shields, I might consider buying one of these, but obviously I don't have enough cash. Literally do not have enough cash. What is this? It can help you improve your skill in melee combat. Uh-huh. Okay, well, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to come and visit you at some point, but uh, I won't be able to do that right now. All right, so we've got about 2,000 in cash. This guy is actually running away from me now because I have a maximum army size of, well, 92, as you can see. And my Hussars have actually leveled up into Cataphract units. That's pretty good. We've got some Manhunters, some Veji Recruits right there. And Clethi actually leveled up too, so... Uh, what do I want to spec her into? I guess more strength. Uh, as I said, I kind of want to get them all to about 15 to 18. Maybe a little bit higher than that. It really depends. But somewhere around there in terms of strength. And then start leveling up their agility so that they can move around a little bit quicker and so on and so forth. But I think we'll be okay to deal with this guy, I hope. But it is a very even battle, as you can see. 92 versus 60... What was it? 92 versus 80, 86 or something? Yeah, I think, I think... Oh, this is fantastic. All right, this guy's literally going to regret attacking us. Like, no one's business. He is going to regret it. So let's see what we can do here. Mm. If, if we can maybe force him to come into these trees, are these clippable? Oh, <gasps> they're not. Okay, this is great. This is absolutely great for us. They are literally going to... They're not going to have a good time. Let's just throw these things. See if we can do a little bit of damage. Try and thin them out a little bit. As you can see, it doesn't really do that much. It's not, it's not really that effective in 
this kind of situation, but I'm pretty happy with uh, what it's able to do. So let me see. Right, I'm doing damage to horses, but no, that's not really what I want to do damage to, thanks very much. Kill him. Yes, nice headshot. Nice headshot. Okay. And maybe we can get a couple of others. Look, look at this guy right here. Clutha, you've got him. You've got him. Just just kill him. Look, what, what's she doing? What's she doing? She's not she's not actually attacking him. Look at look at look at look at Clethy right here. She's she's fainting. She's doing a lot of fainting, but not much more. Not entirely sure why why that was. Oh well, never mind. I, I think that she probably she's just being really, really careful about where she attacks from or something like that. Okay, come on, kill him. Yes. Uh, I don't actually have anything else. Right. Can't ride this either. Okay, we've got to be careful here. Bear in mind, this is still an Iron Man challenge, and I'm being really, really risky here. But I'm doing this for a very good reason. Uh, I can't think of the reason right now, because it's kind of me being stupid. <laughs> it is actually that. But I think it's probably because I, I have quite a bit of uh, confidence in my units at the moment. And I think we can probably regroup here. And then we can recharge in, if you know what I mean. So we can just issue the charge order once more. Okay, let's just try and take out this guy. Wait, wait a minute. That's a Hussar. Okay. No, don't try and take out the Hussar. That's mine. Yes. Oh, this guy needs to die. Hello. Okay, now we can, now we can tell everyone to charge in again. Try and take a couple of these guys prisoner. At least a little bit. I'm actually wondering whether any of these guys have thrown weapons. I don't think they do, so I'm not going to be able to really pick them up and have a grand old time. But Clethy is actually... Uh, is she... she? She's just fainting. Look at that. She's not actually hitting enemies. Okay, that's... That's a bit weird. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but... Uh, whatever the case... Uh, she's still alive, so I guess that's all that matters really you know she she adds a body onto the uh, onto the battlefield i hope that uh, i mean that's not what our, all of our companions do right because i just saw lesolet get a kill so that can't be the case look bunduk's getting a kill as well so maybe clethy is just having a bit of a problem with her weapons setup maybe maybe i need to change her weapons or something that might actually make sense oh this guy's using a pretty nice weapon this would be a pretty ideal weapon for a uh, for a siege maybe yeah it's a little bit too long for that, in my opinion. Just in case you have your own units next to you, it's going to make it very difficult to swing such a long, uh, such a long reach weapon, you know. But uh, it's still decent, you know. It's not not a bad, not a bad thing. But there you go. We we lost six units and we eliminated his entire army, which is great. And the enemy is about to be eliminated as well. And uh, that's, uh, that's, I think, going to be it for this episode of Banner Page. And uh, we're doing pretty well. I think what I'm going to do now, now that I have a decent army back up and running, is I'm going to go back to... I'm just going to order my troops to attack without me to eliminate that last guy. We can take this guy prisoner as well, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And... Yeah, so what I'm going to do uh, in my off-screen time is literally just go back to uh, go back to my castle and I will see what's going on at Nadar Castle as well because of course Nadar Castle is basically the next thing that I would like to be able to take. I don't think I'll be able to take a town or anything like that. It just doesn't seem very likely at the moment. So yeah, something like that will probably be what will happen. I also sell a bunch of this because th these are going to sell for a pretty decent amount I think maybe about a thousand maybe something like that but yeah Kelradan Castle is looking pretty good right now not being under siege or anything like that and this is currently what the map is looking like it looks like the Saranids are taking a small bite out of the Kurgits the Rodoks are taking a small bite out of the Swadians and the Nords are not really doing much right now but otherwise I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time